let's let's talk about let's talk about this, man. Let's talk about this. AC the mogul back in the building. Long time, long long time no hear from. Hello. Man, I mean it's it's been how how long how long have you been how long you been driving now? It's it's been a, um, it's been two. Yeah, it's been two and a half years. I started driving February 4th, 2020. It's now, what is this? Almost June 2022. So about two and a half years now. Two and a half It's been a long years. time. Y'all gonna miss me a little. Y'all miss me a little when I'm gone. Wow. Two and a half <laughs> years, man, that you've been driving out here. You still, uh, you still yeah. rocking out? You still rocking out with Prime? Sure am. I'm still here. What? Sure am. What? Mm-hmm. That, that's some loyalty. <laughs> exactly. That, that's, that, that, that's some loyalty, man, because plenty of people that, that started off with Prime is gone. <laughs> exactly. That's why I was just I was just saying this other than that. I think yesterday. I was saying it's not normal for people to be really doing what I'm doing. It's normally company drivers, they do, they stack profile maybe a certain company. But I know a lot of truck drivers kind of move from different companies after a while. They don't really stay in the place that they started at. Right. Facts. Facts. You know, I, I talked to my girl, uh I, I talked to my girl Tony, uh, Miss Kitty the trucker yeah. around, you know, a while back. And she, you know, she, you know, she's doing her own thing now with uh, you know, with the truck that she got. And she left uh she oh, left Prime. Her. So, you know, yeah, a I'm lot of a, a lot of a lot of pivotal YouTubers is, has has left Prime as well, you know. We of course you oh, know wow. well, you already knew about Kitty the Trucker. She's gone. Uh that that tiny Yeah, that tiny house dreaming uh female, she's gone. Uh oh, of course yeah, I remember her. Of course of One course keeping years. of course keeping it 100, she been keeping gone. 100, she been dipped out. Yeah, yeah she been so, dipped out. So yeah, so here you oh, yeah. are. Queen Trucker, she been dipped out. Love her. Right. And here you are, 2 years deep in the game, man. I mean, with Prime. Are you yeah, are are you least are are you leasing <laughs> with are you leasing with them or are you yeah, you company? I'm still, I'm still leasing. I'm still leasing. I've been leasing since I started with them after I got my after I got out of TNT. Wow. Man. This is my second lease now. Man, your second lease. Man. Uh, yeah. what's what's what what's your what's your plans with Prime? You 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 got any plans with them? Well, honestly, Plans with them. I I, I want to just not stick to my grocery. I want to just leave well enough alone. Right now, mm-hmm. I, my money is smooth. I know what's coming. I know how I'm gonna be ran. I know the company. I know when to be. I I know who. You know when I don't want to be bothered, I can send a text message. But I know the ins and outs. I know what they're gonna be tripping on. What they're not gonna be tripping on. I know. It's it's a it's a for me it's more of I can throw because I know what to expect and I know I'm familiar. It's like comfort. It's like it's your home. Like you at your house, you taking off your shoes, you chilling, you relaxing, you know what to expect at your house. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that for trucking for me. Like I know what to expect here. I'm cool here. Like down mess with me, I mess with them. I don't got no complaints. My money coming in. And my plan, I would say, is to continue this dynamic where I'm safe, I'm driving, I'm making money. I don't really care about what company I'm at right now. It's just comfort and feeling, and feeling comfortable where I'm at. It's like I don't want to, I don't see a need to go anywhere else. So you I say, don't see a need for that. So you say you don't, don't want, want you, where I'm at. so you say you don't want no smoke. You You good with the smoke that you're getting from Prime. Yeah, because where you ever you gonna go, you gonna get you gonna have to get familiar again. You gonna have to restart over. You gonna have to get what is this? What are they rules? What is they? What is they? What are they? Where is they terminals? Where is like I know how to run, when to run, when to stop, how to go, what's the route? Like I know this. Like I know this. Like I'm riding a bike, so that's why I'm cool. I'm cool here. So I I just plan on. My, my, my goals are more so personal. I'd rather stay where I'm at, but my personal goals is to be more disciplined with my money 
be more disciplined with my health, be more disciplined, you know, to thrive where I'm at, to make the best out of where I'm at. I don't see a need to go somewhere else and do the same thing um, until I'm ready. Now, when I'm in a position where my credit is where I want it to be, like right now, I've looked at my credit 99 points since I've been at this company, actually. Um, I've been working on my credit this whole time. So I've listed it 99 points. I've been working on my little savings. It's not, I've, I've messed up along this journey and life happens. So it ain't where I want it to be or where I thought it would be. But the plan is to, to get it where I'm comfortable at. And when I'm ready, if, it, if God willing, if I can save enough to have a down payment for a truck or if I can and have a down payment for a house and, you know, like that's, that's still my main focus, my LLC now. I started my LLC with Prime. Well, I started my LLC while working at Prime, June of 2020. So this June, my LLC will be two years old. So now the business credit will be two years old. The, my personal credit will be two years old. My set, you get what I'm saying? So it's, okay. it's not a race. It's not a, it's a, it's a, it's a pace. It's a marathon. It's a, my, I, I can't be looking at who else and everybody else beside me and all this great. I just got to run what I feel is best for me. And right now, this feels like what's best for me. All right. That's what's up, man. So let's uh, let's segue in, in, into this celibacy thing, man. So you 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 post okay. you you post the question and you you asked yeah. you, you said that uh, you said that can you actively participate in celibacy? While in a relationship, key word no. in a relationship. Uh, no, you, uh, while in a yes. no. not can you, not can you. No. Oh. I was saying I would like to hear from those who are currently actively uh, uh, practicing celibacy while in a relationship. So this is so. There's two levels to that thing. Mm -hmm. So. For, so everybody that so let's just make this clear I don't give everybody my Facebook so you got my Facebook only people that I dang with personally get my Facebook everybody else I don't give it so you got it <laughs> but uh, the, the, the point of this is I was celibate I, I'm very um, open about that even I've, I've shared that a little bit on YouTube maybe within the last year or so I was celibate uh, single for over a year Okay. And then once entering in a relationship, I still, um, I'm still practicing and trying to practice celibacy actively. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it. <laughs> I'm not saying all of the days <laughs> line up and nobody makes mistakes. But I am saying that it's a practice that just because I ate bad today, that don't mean that I gotta eat bad tomorrow and the next week, and I'm just gonna throw the whole thing away. Okay, you messed up. You keep moving. You keep trying to actively practice celibacy. And if, I, I just wanted to know that I wasn't alone in that. If there's other people in relationships that's trying that that may be practicing celibacy or waiting for marriage, or that there's people that's in my new seat that's even thinking like that. Because what I find is a lot of what I find interesting is a lot of people get into this entitlement. They feel like just because you're in a relationship, you automatically get access to this person's body. That's not, that's not, that's, that's just off the bat. That's just society. That's just what, that's just the rule. You just, you just automatically think relationships, oh, they fuck. You just automatically think that. You don't think like, right. oh, relationships, oh, wait. I wonder, oh, oh, snap. They just celebrate a year. Oh, snap. He's waiting for her. Oh, snap. He's respecting her. Oh, snap. Or she's waiting for him. Oh, snap. She, she, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody stops stop to think like that so I just thought it I just wanted to see I see people uh bragging on my on my feed about how they've been celibate for you know so many months six months a year seven months here even I've said I've been celibate for over a year prior to my relationship and I just wanted to see that's a whole nother level but you can be celibate when you're by yourself it's that's one level but then when you get in, in a relationship with somebody and you and you have feelings for them and you love them and you have an attraction for them and and you get to touch them and feel them, it's like, hold on. <laughs> and this is my person that I'm in love with. That's where the confliction comes in at. So it's like, now, what are you doing this for? Okay, so, get, so, 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 mm -hmm. so, so, I, I can understand. I can understand why you're single. 
I kind of get that. I I get that while you're yeah. single and everything. But in a relationship, I mean, if if like you already said, if you love if you love them, you cherish them, and you you know mm-hmm. that you you know that it's it's going further than what you inspecting it to mm-hmm. go, then do you why what? practice celibacy if you already know this is the if this is the significant other that you want to be with? And on the flip side of that, how the significant other feels about that? Like I understand he'll probably uh he'll probably give you uh uh you know your your respect on that but afterward yeah man my bad you know this, you know these, you know these iPhones they be just dying we, you gotta leave these iPhones on the charger I got an old iPhone I got an iPhone seven you gotta leave this one on the charger it's like Jesus, it's every hour. seven yeah seven, I got seven but I ooh, we yeah, seven man. we seven generations <laughs> up what what the hell man <laughs> Listen, driver, you're a truck driver. Why you don't have the new iPhone 14 Pro Max? Uh, uh, Instagram, hey, Facebook, hey, ready. Hey, What's uh, up? Well, my boo, my boo thing. He gave me uh, what is this? Uh, he gave me this uh, Samsung Galaxy S twenty one. Oh, okay. And he said this this phone that I got. I got two phones. I got an Android. That's the one I've been recording all my new, all of my little videos and stuff on recently that I'm about to be posting because I ain't posting that on YouTube in a while. But I've been taking a couple shots with this new phone. But I'm only so I can I can switch over to this Android. But I'm just using it for my recording. I don't want nobody calling me while I'm making videos or stuff I like that. You. So I just use it for social media. I got but my iPhone. You know. I just use that for calls. Y'all can just call me on that. All right. That's all it's good for. All right. So did you so did you hear did you hear anything before we got disconnected? I was when I was asking. I heard you say you had got to the bottom of the question, which basically was what is the motive for continuous continuing celibacy after you deem this person as the one that you want to be with and right, right. So you 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 in a you in a commit so as of now, you're in a committed relationship because I, I don't I, I don't see you going anywhere else, but you're in a committed relationship yeah. with the guy. So why continue to be celibate with him? And how is he and on the flip side of that, how is he taking it? I know he's he he's respecting you and everything, <laughs> but I, it, it, it gotta be in the back of his mind, like, come on. Especially, so especially, 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 especially if if y'all if y'all did the one two hello? before hello Kate hello yeah what, y'all can hear you now what you say I, I, I said especially if you guys did the one two before you know what I'm saying but you know coming yeah. you know, coming back off of it like yo I'm back in celibacy baby say what huh you. I'm- <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. So let me, let me just, all right. So now since we don't, since we don't about business on Fresh Street, because we was not talking about, okay, my testimony, we can do that. Cause that's what you back out. So I'm going to just use my testimony. Let's just go ahead and do it. So yeah, what, so let me answer your first question. <laughs> The, the first question would be what, what what's the motive so that so with that mindset that's how you're going to be falling into temptation because you're going to be like dang Schlauser, that's the part listen I'm a human being right so there's a part of me that's like this is the person I want to be with this is my body I want sex I want penis he's the person I'm committed to right I can get him anytime I want it that's, that's how the part of me thinks like that right that's still human and flawed that be messing up the other part of me is like, all right, what are you doing this for? Outside of, hello? I'm still here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, there you go. Religious. Well, I'm not religious, but um, for, you can, some might do this for religious purposes. Now, me being religious does not have to do, doesn't mean that I don't believe in um, 
Jesus or don't mean that I don't believe in God. I believe in truth and I believe in both of them. Okay. And I don't consider myself um, religious. I just, that's just what it is. I consider myself a follower of Christ and that's just that. Now, I'm not perfect in my walk. And I, and I also, with, with truth, that some in the Jewish religion, they, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if you have sex, you're considered married. So there's a part of me that battles with that too, because I'm like, all right, well, you just gotta be married, right? So then you got the other, the other, the last layer of it is like, y'all not married. So what are you having sex for? It, it, it's a guilt that it's a guilt that comes with, with knowing that y'all not married. So if you want people on good living illegally, you just have to keep on illegally just doing this. Why not make it legal? And if, and if this person wants you like that, why isn't he Why isn't he trying to make it legal? Or when is he going to make it legal? And it's no rush. It's no pressure. That's why you stay celibate. There's no rush and there's no pressure on that. Now, if he feels pressure and he feels rush, that's stuff we could talk about. Do you want to go to therapy? Do you want to have a conversation how me and you are having a lockout right now? What do you need? Let's talk about what do you need. But I, but I, but the conversation after you mess up, after you after you fall, it's the same conversation. After you ate that cookie and you ate some brownies and you ate that stuff and you know you've been working and dieting it for a whole month or a year, how long you've been doing, and you're just going to be like, well, fuck it. I'm about to go eat some pork, too. I'm about to go ahead and just eat all it. No, you just, you come back to it. You do something wrong to somebody. What is the conversation? You 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 go back to it, you revisit it, you may reflect on it, you analyze it, you pray about it, you ask for forgiveness, you repent from it, and then you come back, you come back to yourself and be like, All right, now how am I gonna proceed moving forward? Mm. So that conversation might look like, Hey, I love you. This is of course I want the same thing that you want. Of course we fall into this, but I still want to practice celibacy. I don't wanna just give up because we messed up. Because we felt, I don't want to give up on that. Now, it's up to him to feel like, all right, well, you know what? I can respect that. She, why is, He might say something like, well, why do you still want to do this? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's when y'all have that conversation, too. He might say, well, why do you still want to um, uh, be celibate? Why do you still want to be celibate after you've already had sex? He might think that way. That's when, that's when I said, that's why I said, um, it depends on what. It depends on the person. It depends on why this female or male is deciding to be celibate okay. in the first place. Because if it's just to, if it's just to have a, if it's just to have the one, there's different, there's different levels. You just want to have somebody that you choose them that you you want to make sure they are worthy of your body. All right, that's one reason. But once they, once, there's a reason you might want to get engaged. You might want to wait till he gets you a ring. You want to know you're serious. That's the reason. Maybe you might just want to wait till marriage. So you no matter what he's doing, you just even if you mess up, you still trying to you still on this celibacy journey. Like okay, I'm still trying to get to this goal. So it's nice to have a part in, a partner that that respects you. Um, the other thing outside of those purposes, the other reason is because you want to know. For me, and for anybody else that might want to know, maybe you've been, maybe they've been. Uh, conditioned to believe that all they good for is their body. Maybe they've been conditioned to believe that all the man wants is sex from them. So maybe that's her her or his position of power. Maybe they maybe they've been through some type of abuse in their life and they feel that this if I can have this person's love and this person's heart and this person's honesty and this person's trust and this person's commitment and this person's loyalty and I didn't have to exchange my body for it, he gonna give me this for he just gonna give me this because he that that man really do love you. If he gonna give you all of that, and you didn't have to give, you didn't have to open your legs for it. What does that say? Now that right did, there, now did, that right there alone did, is it, it speaks volumes. Now there, now there's only a handful of men, and I say a handful that would that that would accept that. You know, I yes. mean, I, you know, we we and talk there's only we, a we, handful of women that would that would enforce that. That's why everybody is. That goes both ways. Only only women, only certain women will enforce that and try to stick to it. That's why I was trying to figure out if I was alone. I'm trying to figure out because it's not easy. It's not easy doing what I'm talking. It's not easy trying to, you. I'm looking at this thing. I'm trying to walk right. I'm trying to walk right. 
as far as when I leave this earth. I don't know what's the right way. I'm using my intuition. So me walking right and it's flesh, sometimes it, coll- it collapses with my spirit. One thing about being celibate, you get to see. You get to see all of what you get to see. As far as when you're dating or if you're in a relationship, you get to see how is this person going to treat you? How, you get to see, you just watch. You just be watchful and you see how you're going to be treated uh, either way it goes. You see if this person is going to respect you and love you either way it goes. Now, the, the, the man that don't want to, that the man, the men that, that approach, I put it on my dating profile. Before I got in a relationship, I put it on my dating profile. I had over 5,000 men interested. I put it right on there, celibate. I'm waiting till marriage. We having conversations. They want to talk about it. Let's talk about it. And the ones that don't make it, they don't make the cut. They flee. But guess what? There's 5,000. There might be 4,000 more. I go through the list. So guess what? They don't have to like it. They don't got to accept it. Then the, then the ones that are supposed to run. I hope you run. Go. Bye. Because I don't want you in my life if that's all you want from me anyway. But the one that's choosing to stay, I, I'm out here trying to do things for myself. I'm out here trying to just do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So if the person wanna if he if he if he wanna stay, he's gonna stay. And the one that's gonna run is gonna run. And the one who's gonna stay, maybe he values what you're doing. Maybe he respects what you're doing. Maybe he can go get pussy anytime he feel like it. But why would he choose you? You're a truck driver. You live on the road. Que- you you live thousands of miles que- away from him. Question. Why would he choose you? Question. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So on on that part right there where you say he can go and get the P anytime. Would you yeah. st- if if you if he respects you, likes you, and and want to you know hold on to you, would that be? Well, of course, it's going to be a problem for you. But well, if, if he, you didn't, what, if you he, if, if you didn't to- know, if you didn't know that he was getting extracurricular activities outside <laughs> of you. Well, that then goes into uh, that then goes into a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother uh, level of a conversation because then you're dealing with integrity. <laughs> then you're dealing with a man's characteristics. Then you're dealing with honesty. Is he a liar? Then you're dealing with is he a cheater? Then you're dealing with does he have a porn addict? Does he have any type of addiction? Not maybe porn, but sexual addiction. That, then you're dealing with other things like. That that's something that you're gonna deal with, period. Whether you're in a relationship, whether you're single, you always gonna deal with people. You gotta determine whether they gonna be uh they gonna be infidelity or they gonna be faithful or they gonna be a cheater. You gotta take you gotta have some type of faith, regardless if you're being celibate or not. So if he gonna go get it somewhere else, he's gonna go get it, regardless if you're giving it to him or not. If he if he wanna go get it somewhere else, he's gonna go get it somewhere else. If he wanna be like, hell no, nah, I'm trying to I'm trying to see what she about. I can go get this, but not nah, she over here. Look at her. She over here doing this. She traveling. She trucking. She got her son. She she doing these great things. She's doing music. She's a YouTuber. Why would a man see glory and want to step on that? Now, if he do, that's on him. Shame, shame. There's another one waiting. That's what's up. And sometimes it'll it'll hurt your feelings, and it'd be cold. It that'll hurt your feelings. Of course, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But but what I what I have recognized on this on this journey this experience I'm a baby in this thing like I ain't, I've been having sex since I was 16 years old I just started the celibacy celibacy journey it's going on uh, it's going on the second year I I made it through the first year I made it past the first year it's going on the second year and I've messed up in the second year but uh I don't I don't see it I just see it as I don't even want to see it as messing up I see it as a process. You get up every day. Maybe you didn't brush your teeth this morning, but maybe you hit. Maybe you hit it on a night, or maybe you got it in the morning. Maybe you brush your teeth twice the next day. Maybe you took a walk this morning. Maybe you didn't take a walk for this week. Maybe you took a walk for a whole month. You see what I'm saying? It's a process. Like you getting up and you exercising. Like you getting up and you reading a word. Like you getting up and making money and cashing a check each week. You gotta keep. You gotta keep working towards that money every week. It don't just come because you got a job. It's kind of the same way. Like celibacy you can look at it the same way it's so it, now you said right you, now you, you said it's you said it's hard and you you you, you know yes, you kind of you kind of buckled you buckled in the in the second year but how how hard i mean how hard is it to be to to be celibate well i think it depends on everybody's personal experiences 
because you how long has a person it, it depends how long has a, has a person been having sex are they using sex as something to cope are they masturbating or are they not are they just not having sex are they not masturbating are they not doing any sexual activities and how long have they been like that was they a virgin all their life or was they sexually active and how long was it since they was a child i think that all plays into um, that all plays into the stuff that we can't see. Now, on the surface of what we can, you see a man or a woman who wants to stop having sex. What was the question again? I'm sorry, I got a little lost. How, don't worry about it. You good. I, I was just saying, how hard is it to be celibate? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, how hard is it to be celibate out here? So, I mean, you haven't had the, you, you, I mean, uh, what, what do you do? What do you do to satisfy? Because if you, if, if you're not getting the real thing, what do you do to satisfy? Well, that, well, how hard is it to be celibate? I'll answer that in two ways. For one, to be single and to be celibate is still difficult. And I, and you still, you can try not, you could try to be, you could be celibate. And then you could, some people still masturbate to relieve themselves. So, so some people, they'll or some people don't don't masturbate to relieve themselves all the time every single time they get horny maybe some people are practicing semen retention or no fat now i'm not too i'm not too um i'm not too familiar with the both of them but i do know what they are as far as like basically still refraining from uh uh it's basically still the same thing it's basically refraining from um from basically releasing like basically climaxing. The point is, I can't even remember the point. We get real. We get real. Let's talk about it though. This is good that we that we can talk about it because we don't talk about these things. Being a trucker, being a truck driver, and being celibate—that's one thing. It's pros and cons to that. I feel like it's hard. To, it's hard to be celibate when you're single and you're a truck driver. Because you're not, I feel like for me, I lived on this road. I lived on my truck. I've been living on my truck this whole time, two and a half years. I've been living on this truck. So for me, it's a physical touch. It's a physical, you can actually Google this, that if a person is not being touched physically, whether it's a hug or a handshake or whether it's just a, just a touch, it could be a, a touch from a, a child hug. If a person is not getting physical touch, period, that can cause, that causes depression and all other type of problems. So I feel like for for me personally, it's difficult in that sense because sometimes you just miss touch. You just miss a hug. You, I'm not about to go hug a stranger. I done been out here for two months, three months, and I'm not getting a hug. I'm not getting a handshake. I'm not getting, I might get a smile, but I'm not very friendly when I'm out here in no truck stop. I'm not smiling at no strangers like that in a random state, in a random city. You know what I'm saying? So it, so that's not the culture of trucking. <laughs> that's just not the culture of it. You're not about to just pull up at a truck stop. For me, as a woman, a black woman, I'm not just about to pull up and hop out and go talk to some dudes. I'm just not about to do that. So so for me, I feel like that's difficult because then when you finally do meet someone, it's more challenging because, you know, at a touch, you're ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's right. also the beauty of it. It's also the beauty of it. That's That's I think a lot of people take that for granted because you get, you touch your people every day. You probably go touch somebody. You probably next to somebody you touch every day. You're not thinking of it, but you're not thinking of not having this, you know, the point is I'll remember. <laughs> oh, it's hard for that. But then when you, when you get in a relationship, yeah, it's, it's even more difficult to, to be, to be oh. celibate. Of course, you, for, for obvious reasons. All right. All right. Celibacy at its best. You guys know the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men Podcast show. Let's talk about it like we always do. Yo, yeah. AC the Mogul. Hey, um, thank you very much for coming on and uh chopping it up with me, man. And, yeah. and, and and this and this 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 is and was a good conversation. I, I enjoyed myself yeah, because yeah. like I said, celibacy is uh, is not celibacy is not for everybody let's put it like that you you gotta have a, you, yeah, you, you, you gotta have a strong you have had you have to have you know a strong says. will right you had to have a strong will you and a strong says. mouth what would you say it says something in the bible it says something like the scripture i'm not gonna quote it all the way but you can google it it says something like um 
every basically everybody has gifts and everybody don't have the gift of celibacy. Everybody don't have the gift to be to, to wait to wait until marriage. But if there's something like if you don't have the gift to wait until marriage, it's better to marry than to burn with that desire and that passion. So it's better to marry. Even just for, and it, it, it sounds crazy, right? It's better to marry for your sexual pleasure than it is for you to just be out here just doing your thing and you burning with that passion. So that's something to think about. And honestly, it's common sense too. I mean, you don't want to look at it like that. Like who want to marry just to have sex, right? That's not, that's not the way to do it, obviously. But even in the Bible, if it's saying that it's better to marry than to do that, that it may be something to think about. Because guess what? If not, then you haven't. That's I mean, that's a whole chapter. It will it will prevent a lot of things. It will prevent a lot of abortions. It will prevent a lot of uh, uh broken households. Maybe possibly it will prevent a lot of things just by waiting. It will prevent you knowing if you got an asshole or if you got the right one. It will prevent a lot of things if we can just put our 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 delay our gratification. What is the rush? If you're going to get this person anyway, you're going to get it anyway. She's going to give it to you anyway. As, so why not do the right thing? As as I said, celibacy is not for everybody. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. Uh, again, yeah. I, again, AC, thank you very much for coming on and chopping it up with me, man. Thank you for having me. You know, me. we we, we going to definitely get together again. So you stay safe out yeah. there. You stay safe out there. Yeah, and and, and much. And, and much success to you with uh, Prime and everything. And we'll get back together in another yes. conversation. Yes, we will. And uh, thank you for sharing light on this topic. I think a lot of people, a lot of people do need to hear it. Not a problem. Anytime. Anytime you got something to talk about, guys, y'all know how to hit me up to one six six zero zero two zero nine zero. And let's talk about it. Until next time, everybody. <laughs> I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids who went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like this symphony. Your career's done, done, done.